Hey yo, what's good everyone? Matt here in Namba with a very special video. The year 2023 is nearly over. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to talk about what was good and bad in the world of NMB 48. So this is my special award show. You can call it the Super Matos, called it the Golden Takayaki Awards 2023 Mato Edition, call them the Namba Awards, whatever you want to call them. I have a bunch of categories planned uh, for uh, today's show. So I'm gonna be going to different parts around Namba that are related to each category and talk about them. So yeah, let's get this show on the road. Okay, I'm standing outside the NMB shop, which means I'm gonna be talking about the uh, birthday shirts. So we have the birthday shirt awards uh, this year. There's the best birthday shirt and there's the worst birthday shirt award. Uh, the members themselves will design these shirts every day, every not every day, every year for their birthday. And uh, a lot of times designs are really, really bad. Sometimes they're acceptable and you can wear them in public, but usually that's not the case. Especially this year, I don't think there's a lot of good options for good shirts. But my uh, pick for best birthday shirt of the year, or uh, least bad birthday shirt of the war year award, goes to uh, Sadano Haruka for the USA Power shirt. Uh, it's this orange shirt, it says USA. Like Usa, I guess technically, it's the name of her dog, Usa-chan. But it's, and then like, it has a like, circle around it going like, USA Power, USA Power. And so I think that's just like an hilarious idea, a hilarious concept for a shirt, just without any context. Uh, and then uh, for a worst birthday shirt award, I think it's gonna go to Shibuya Nagisa. Unfortunately, you know, hey, it's her last shirt, her last year, but the design, I guess, it's like this giant like thank you card with so much text written on it. It's literally like a letter that you read on a shirt. It's just really ugly. I wouldn't want to wear that ever. But yeah, it's a really bad shirt. All right, next I am standing here in front of the uh, Yes Theater, which is uh, where NMB does a lot of their uh, their monthly variety show. Uh, you got an NMB, Bachi Bachi NMB, Mara Mara NMB, all these different shows. So this is the category for uh, best uh, NMB show. Normally it's good to like TV or something, but NMB doesn't really have any TV shows, like real TV shows. Uh, so usually it's like the YNN category. But this year also was not a very good year for a uh, wine in shows. Kind of boring stuff all over the place. Uh, so actually, my uh, pick for best show of the year is going to go to uh, Bachi Bachi N B, which actually is one of the newer shows they started this year. It basically replaced You Got It N B, along with Mara Mara N B, which replaced Here We Got It N B. But it's essentially the same format as You Got It N B. So it's really fun. Uh, once a month, a variety show with a cast of members. And uh, it's really easy to follow, kind of a lot of like physical comedy and stuff. Not too much talking and stuff, except for in the back half we're doing the weird like love, like confessional role play stuff with the host, it's all really cringe. But you know, this is the one where like, if you saw my YouTube channel, I also do all the translations of like the, uh, you know, the English test battles and stuff. It's usually on the show. So uh, yeah, Bachi Bachi NMB is my pick for uh, best show. And then uh, for best uh, member gag, this year, it's gonna go to Kuroda Fuwa's one, two, three, who, because that was just a really funny moment where she's trying to spell out the numbers one to 10 in English. She goes one, two, three, and then who, she thought that was four. And it was a really funny moment, the whole like Ric Flair, everyone going, woo! Hey, so now I'm at Asue Arena, uh, kind of timely, I guess. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, probably Enemy's uh, last uh, big venue they'll be performing at ever, thanks to Nagisa. Uh, just because, you know, hey, the popularity of the group, they're going to be stuck in going to, like, Ores or Zep for, you know, the rest of eternity. But, yeah, I'm here to talk about the uh, kind of, like, event or concert categories. So, uh, I guess up top we have the uh, best concert of the year. Uh, so, this is going to probably go to, it's probably maybe recency bias, but, yeah, it's going to go to uh, Nagisa Graduation Concert Day 1. The one with all the jokes and, like, funny moments, just because it's just a really funny concert. They did a lot of creative, like, fun kind of really dumb stuff and it was just yeah I was like laughing the whole time during that show so it was just really funny and just really good going along with uh, I guess uh, the best concert award is uh, the best uh, Nagisa graduation concert uh, joke or gag so it's kind of very contextual very uh, specific but yeah for me my uh, I guess pick for uh, you know best joke for that show will be uh, the, uh, the I Love Budamon like video message from uh, Nagisa, but then it was actually like a YouTube video without like YouTube premium. So an ad played like at the end, but just before uh, Yuna's like message was about to come up and uh, she got really angry. And it's just really funny that cause like, you know, okay, uh, NMB management doesn't pay for uh, YouTube premium. So of course there's gonna be ads. 
And it's just a really funny moment. So a recurring song that is performed at many NMB concerts, especially recently, is Water Key. It appears at almost every NMB concert these days. Uh, this year we had actually quite a few Water Keys because they actually performed uh, at separate Water Key at each leg of the tour this year. But for me, my uh, best Water Key of the Year award is going to go to Water Shihan, which was Ishida Yumi. It had a really nice like setup of her like uh, kind of talking about how like oh she lost weight, she went on, went on a diet and like lost like you know three kilos, which is about like, six pounds in like two weeks or something like kind of crazy. And it showed it showed off like her like you know, results. So that was really cool. And you know all the other members actually performed along with her, like danced along with her. And actually probably the funniest moment was like actually getting like the you know, crescendo like the Water Shihan part. Uh, uh, Koji Dean and Nagisa like, like picked up like uh, Yumi's like jacket and like, threw it over her face <laughs> just a block her and then they, they jumped into the, the center. So that's just a nice little fun moment, a nice little twist on the uh, you know, water key formula. Alright, so I'm here at Ebisubashi Sutaya for uh, the music categories. So this year, yeah, we had uh, the new album come out, we also had a new single come out, so a lot of like, you know, decent selection of uh, songs to talk about for these categories. So, uh, yeah, I noticed a trend where, like, the uh, spring release will usually be, like, a more, like, kind of dark dance, like, kind of cool style song, and then the uh, fall will be, like, the more kind of upbeat, fun, like, kind of typical idol song. So, you know, kind of, like, do both types. So, if you know me, I have my favorite, my preferences and whatnot. So, uh, I guess if we go for, like, the best song of 2023, it's going to be uh, Nagisa Cycle, which is playing right with, next to me. Uh, this is not a uh, paid uh, sponsorship or anything. It's just here. But uh, yeah, it's just like, you know, a really fun, uplifting, you know, great song. You know, it's a graduation song, so you think there is some kind of sadness with Nagisa like, leaving. But I know you, it, it's just like I don't know. I, I felt less depressed, like you know, with this song than I did like with like you know, Boku Date Night Yo or Shirari Nagi or any of the other graduation songs. You know, it's just very fun and uplifting. Uh, and then it has like the whole like you know like you know pun with like Nagisa because you have Nagisa the you know the person, you have Nagisa the beach, so. That's just like a really fun idea. And then, uh, you know, the dance is really fun. You know, they've been doing it at the concerts, you know, all fall and winter. And then they've been trying to do this whole, like, you know, viral music video, TikTok, Twitter trend or whatnot, which I'm not sure it really worked out for them, but hey, they tried, it's really good. All right, and then, uh, yeah, my pick for worst song of 2023 is gonna go to Done, which was the title track for the new album that came out this year. You know, it's just like the complete opposite of uh, Nagisa Cycle with, uh, you know, it's all, you know, dark and, you know, try hard heavy stuff. It's not really my style, but it was just, the thing that made it worse for me was uh, because it's part of, like, you know, the main theater set list. It's the main song or whatever, so they have to do every theater show. And most of the theater shows I went to this year had done, so it just did not fit with, like, any of the set lists. And so you just felt, like, you know, bummed out whenever that song came out. And then you hoped that, like, the next song would, like, take you out of that rut. So, yeah, I really did not really care for done this year. Now I'm at NMB Theater, so I'm going to talk about the members and do the member awards for this year. So the first award I have here is the uh, Rookie of the Year Award for Best New Member. So Ninth Gen, they joined about this time last year, so very late in 2022. So they've been around for over a year, so it's kind of like my first like uh, general impression and evaluation of them for after a year or so. Uh, so my uh, Rookie of the Year Best Ninth Gen Member Award is going to go to... Nishiyuma, uh, kind of, you know, I always find like the gamer girl, whoever is usually the, who I draw, get drawn to in every generation. And, uh, you know, her, she had like rhythm game, like in her profile for interest, which I'm kind of like sus of, because that's like very casual, you know, it's not a hardcore game, you know, but, uh, you know, she plays a lot of stuff, she has like a very variety of uh, games, and so it's fun to talk to her about random stuff. Um, have gone as deep with her as like, you know, other members, you know, like Anju or back in the day but uh yeah and then like in my first like uh like conversation with her it was like kind of like oh, okay i'll try you out then i'm gonna talk about games first but she had like she likes going to disneyland as like one of her like interests or whatever and i like going to disneyland that's one of my interests so i'm like hey i saw you like disneyland and then she just like started just talking non-stop about disney for like the whole like 45 second call so that was like a very good like first impression uh and i was like oh man i'm glad i did this i can't wait to buy more and so definitely not regret buying Nishiyuma. Okay, and then uh, next uh, category I have is the, uh, the graduation that hurts. So the one that uh, basically really shook me up. And uh, I think we had a lot of pretty, like, members I liked this year that graduated. And then, uh, so, but probably the biggest one for me is gonna be uh, 
Kuroda Fua. Um, just her announcement was like very surprising, kind of came out of nowhere. And then uh, very, this very sudden departure was very, uh, you know, like hurt me even more, kicked me down while I'm down. I know there's like some other stuff surrounding her. This is just more like just with the idea of her graduating because like, you know, I, I feel like she had a lot more to do, a lot more to, a lot more to grow, a lot more opportunity for her. So yeah, that was like the, I mean, hey, I lost one of my favorite members basically this year. All right, Nagi, so you don't get any love. And next up we have the Spotlight Stealer Award. So this is the award for the member that like tests your faith. Uh, the member makes a question who your uh, main Oshi is. So uh, this year uh, it's gonna go to uh, Watamiu. Definitely uh, has been climbing up in my ranks this year. A uh, lot of fun moments with her. And uh, you could even say she could be my, uh, depending on the day you ask me, she could be my number one favorite, she could be my number three favorite, who we don't know. But uh, yeah, uh, Watamio definitely is like my spotlight stealer for uh, this year. All right, next category we have is most improved member. So this is a member who like, uh, maybe they increased their uh, rank, their position in the group this year, they got more jobs, they got into Sabatsu for the first time. A lot of uh, candidates for this year. Uh, I think my uh, pick for uh, most improved member of the year will go to Deguchi Yuina. Definitely, uh, you know, worked really hard last year, but then I think the, 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 the fruits of her efforts finally came out this year, you know, got into Sabatsu for Dunn, got stayed in Sabatsu for Nine to Cycle, and you know, it's been doing a lot of like, you know, food work and a lot of good stuff. It's a very good job for uh, Yuina. Next category, where there's improvement, there's always disappointment, the opposite side. So this is a member maybe like, you know, didn't quite do as well this year compared to the end of the previous year. And uh, for me, that's probably going to go to Kuroda Fuwa just because she quit <laughs> so early. I was hoping she would stick around longer. You know what? I, I still had a whole lot of things to do this year. Still a lot of things I want to talk to her about. So the hurt fact that she left is very sad and disappointing. All right. And then, uh, yeah, the award for the MVP or best member of the year this year is going to go to Shibuya Nagisa. Uh, it's like her last chance to do it, so might as well, right? You know, the Mercy Award. But uh, actually, this year, especially, you know, it was her uh, last, uh, you know, last big hurrah with the whole Nagisa Cycle promotion. You know, they gave her so many opportunities. You know, put her on TV, put her on so many shows. You know, a lot of collaborations, like with comedians for her so, uh, graduation song. Uh, you know, kind of really propped up NB in general this year, like you know, with the music shows, where not only was it just a Sabatsu, but you know, they brought in like you know, 40 other members so for like those shows so even like you know your super like low members who have no chance of ever being in Sabasu or being like popular at all they got a little bit of screen time albeit like you know half a second half a nanosecond because it's like in the background and stuff but yeah very good job for uh, Nagisa this year it's definitely you know the best member of the of the year so yeah that's gonna do it for uh, my best of 2023 awards for NMB 48 let me know what you think about my picks in the comment section and let me know what your winners are for each category. I like to see all that kind of discussion in the comment section. But yeah, I will see y'all again in 2024. Peace.